Jay Prince was uh, heard through the African grapevine that he had inked a deal with uh, the brother uh, Pimp C. And this, if you can remember, Pimp C went live before he died. And he started blasting people, calling people homosexuals and this kind of thing. And he was calling people out. Shortly after that, they found him dead in a hotel. Overdose. Mm. Well, you want to operate in that $20 million club? Now, so about niggas, but when a nigga really want to kill you, you know what I'm saying, nigga? When a nigga really want to kill you, they ride right up on the side of your motherfucking ass and blast your motherfucking ass. Y'all these old pussy ass niggas talking about they want to kill 50 cents. Bitch, you don't want to do nothing no 50 cents, bitch. You just want to make some motherfucking records. But you pussy ass niggas don't want to give up them cars and them houses that they living in. You know, fake ass rap niggas. That's what I'm talking about, man. I go out to Houston riding this business by myself. And the only nigga I see in the street is Slim Thug. <laughs> of the record to the east because we're not putting no social commentary into the record. And the truth be told is, look, hey, man, if you started being a gangbanger after your first or your second album, you a buster. And these kids out here listening to us and looking up to us because a lot of them don't have no father figure in their house. And every record you get on, you lying about some dope, talking about some squares. <laughs> man, guess what, man? Get off the boo-boo. <laughs> get off of it, man. Because if you're going to talk about some squares and talk about the drug game, you need to talk about the bad side of the drug game, too. What about when you get busted and you go to jail? What about when your mama and your wife and your kids is crying because they at home and you in prison in a cell? What about that part of the dope game? Everybody talking about how many cars and how many jewels they going to buy and what, how many squares coming off. You know what I'm talking about? But ain't nobody talking about the other side of it. So if you're going to talk about that, you got to talk about both sides. Let me tell you this, man. Let me tell you this, man. We need to stop with the stop from up. They need to stop from up. Yeah. UGK was yeah. UGK was, was started out talking about drugs and things, but now we on the record talking about drugs and what drugs and what happens when you get off into negative things. We need to stop promoting the wrong thing. That's that's definitely somebody got to step up and make it happen. Somebody got to do it. And guess what? That. You think anybody that did it, they was gonna like it when they heard, don't nobody like medicine. It don't taste good. They just want a whole bunch of the same old, everybody licking each other's booty and being cowards. Well, guess what? I'm taking a stance against the cowards. I'm taking a stance against the lies. And I'm telling you, we need to stop doing all this old negative stuff. All right, Pimp, man. We appreciate you checking in, man. If anybody got something to say about me, just make a list of their names and tell them, look, I, you can come see me. I'll give you my address. We can box it out, pop it out, stab it out. Yes, sir. Oh, yep. I know who the gay rappers is. I know who let them models stick them dildos in them. And I know who did what, where, when, and why. Wow. So Do you feel like expressing that right now? Yeah, go ahead, no. Say this again. If you feel I like say saying it, go ahead. Say this again. I'm proud of all the rappers in the South. I'm proud of everybody selling records in Atlanta. But everybody ain't my friend, and I don't like all y'all records. Now, if you want to diss me and get on with me, go on and do it. But the difference between me and them other dudes is this. You're going to diss me, and I'm going to come see you, Jack. You're going to diss them other dudes, and they're going to play lip wrestling with you. So if you want it, man, come on with it. If you want it with me, come on with me. Leave burn out of it, and we're going to see in the end, because you're going to smell my cologne. It's in me, yaki. Them, uh, them gay rappers you know about? Nah, man, it's no need to embarrass nobody yeah. that ain't done nothing to us. Yeah. Respect. But if you're gay, man, and you're ashamed of it, you need to stop doing stuff you're ashamed of. Anything done in the dark going to come to the light. I ain't got to expose them, because they're exposing themselves every day and every night. They sure are. But see, you work at a radio station, and it's your job to ask me that question, and me being a real person, it's my job to know how to answer it, ain't it? You already What's know. Up? All right, okay, so if you're gay and you rap, and you ain't and you and you stand in the closet, then you need to come on out of the closet and let us know who you is. Cause if you ain't proud of what you do, then don't do it. And if anything you're shame of, you shouldn't be doing it. You know who getting caught in the Range Rover with the bar? <laughs> you know what's going on in that lounge, just like I know. You know who got caught in the Range Rover with the bar? Okay? No, I don't really. <laughs> oh, you nice. know? You know? Oh, yeah. Cause if I know, I know you know, cause you in that lounge. Oh, wow. I know. Well, you want to operate in that $20 million club and higher, $100 million club where these brothers were operating in? Oh, you got to pay, pay the price.
You got to bond yourself to these people forever. Let's look at some of the other people that have bonded themselves to this demonic energy. Michael Jordan, who did he lose? His dad. His dad. Bill Cosby, who did he lose? His son. I can go on and on. When Kanye West wanted to be up in that space so bad, he signed the oath, took the oath rather, and signed on, became a mason and took the oath, um, um, wrote Lucifer, son of the morning, for Jay-Z, and that was his initiation, and sure enough, he lost his mom. wanted to be up in that space, yep, her family got taken out on some ritual killings. Are oh, you mm. following me? So we need to understand this particular thing. You're not going to operate up into the $50, $100 million club and you not pay the ultimate price now. Not the ultimate price, but make a blood sacrifice. Jay-Z was well aware of all of this. So they paid him off. How did they pay him off? They gave him Rock Aware. They gave him Rockefeller Records, Rock Nation, Jay-Z Inc., um, What's the bell? Uh, Scion made a deal with him. Then the New Jersey Nets, he owns part of that. J Hotels. 4040 Club. I can go on and on, bro. Mm. And this is okay. happening right before our eyes, man. So they niggerized the music. And as soon as Jay-Z got made, he was made president of Def Jam. Guess who he signed? Two known drug dealers. Young Jeezy and Rick Ross. Who's going to perpetuate and carry on the madness. And the negative demonic frequency. Are you following me? Yes, sir. We need to understand that to that degree. Now, we love these brothers, but they're victims. Yeah. Of a diabolical plan, man. To take hip-hop off course, and they're, and they're, they're successful. Hip-hop is no longer the voice of the voiceless. I think what we need to do is take, take uh, bits and parts of information like when I was coming up. I took bits and parts of information. I said to myself... I'm holding on to whatever little bit I get, and I'm staying on a straight path. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm not deviating from it. Not at all. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I could go home and say, nope, I didn't harm my brother. I didn't rob anybody. I didn't steal from nobody. I didn't shoot nobody in the head. I didn't deceive anyone. You understand what I'm saying? But did I, what did I do that was good? Okay, I stayed away from those things, but what did I do on the flip side that was good? Did I help somebody in need? You understand what I'm saying? Did I feed the people on a spiritual level? What did, what did I do? And at the end of the day, we got to say, look, damn, did I do my part? People come to me all the time. Yo, Griff, is this shit ever going to change, man? I said, well, what did you do? What did you do to bring about the change? You understand what I'm saying? Yes, you yes. did your part, bro. I'm doing my part. We got to encourage other people to do their part, man. Everybody has a job in this. 